Burger Rippy, I'm over at Columbus International Airport, about two o'clock in the morning. I like to look at the art they have over here. Come right on time. I remember where I'm at here. Kind of, kind of wild, isn't it? Let's keep going here. But uh, they change the change up the art every time. I haven't been here in a while. Got a ways to go here. Parked on the wrong level, or I'd have been closer. Right here. And, um, but then our Honda exhibit, and um, we used to have a Lordstown, but General Motors pulled out of Lordstown. I'm not sure how the electric one's going over there, but some kind of a John Glenn International. Or brush strokes in flight by got his name written down. This is my little one here. But this guy, uh, he was born in the twenties. The artist. Um, it was Roy. Roy Lichtenstein, but in the 80s they commissioned, and I don't know how good this spot is really, it's, it's right here, there's the eagle, brush strokes in flight, 2 o'clock in the morning, one of the best things about this, they have the glass elevators, two of them. I'm right on time. It's 26 foot tall. It's on about a six foot base, and so he he painted for five five decades over five thousand pieces, and this is in the 60s. This comic type, the comic type of stuff that he did, and then uh, some of it looks tribal or uh, Native American, and but. So there's one, two, three, four brush strokes. And he would take those brush strokes and do different things with them. And then he, he calls this one brush strokes in flight. And this is my little one here. And it, it's signed in the back. And it's possibly from 1988. I found it in a box of junk at an auction in a multi-millionaire's estate. And it goes to three more pieces and but uh, Roy Lichtenstein's this one's called Masterpiece the, the comic one and there's a signature in it he died in the 90s at 73 years old that that piece has uh, multiplied in value and the price is going higher as I'm standing here talking okay that was the best investment this airport's ever made, right there. Here's a commemorative. Um, Frustrates in flight by Roy Fox Luxenstein. He married a girl for, he went to Ohio State University in the 40s in between going to the war with the army. I read up on him this morning, He's a fascinating artist. And then his wife was married a couple times and uh, her other husband, Arcus, these are cool, these like arrows, very cool. We're going up into the lobby, they have a baby grand piano over where our uh, Lordstown plant used to put their stuff. But um, yes, the, the airport in Cleveland has the art from the other husband of the lady. 
she must have been pretty cool ticketing or Honda this is a shopping area there was a Max and Irma's there a lot of tired people at 2 in the morning where we at rivals Yeah, it flipped it. That's the one that I was looking at. We'll get there. No hurry. Kind of changed it up a little bit. Got a pretty good film. And then, is it over here? This is DHL. I think they're in Wilmington, Ohio. There's a little airport over there. Down there's the baggage. This was where the uh, Max and Hermes was. So it's a little more open. I don't know what it's called. Hangar 815. Uh, it looks like it's commemorative to the Tuskegee Airmen, which are native to uh, Dayton, Ohio, and right Pat. Some new art here. So we're going to go in the art gallery back there by the restroom. They removed the boot shine. So this looks from Spain. It's at $4,000. El Toro Dance on canvas. It's a large one. Um, so, this might be a taste of what's going to be in here today. This one looks like a pond with those. My niece would like this one. It's at $3,000, almost $2,900. Yeah, beautiful uh, pond. That's what I, I think it's a pond. But yeah, the uh, the shoe shining booth is gone. We're back by the restroom. But yeah, very colorful. Um, this this is just lively this time. So just a quick up and down of the airport art here. What we have to offer at, in Columbus tonight. They change this up each time, and this is here again. It's about three grand. So you're looking at a million dollars in art here. Would be three, three hundred, six hundred, yeah, up to three quarters of a million anyway. So it's showing the name of the painting, and we don't have the artist yet. Because I like to research the artist when I get home. He, he's did quite a bit of scribbling and writing on there on the bottom of that for some reason. Now this is a bronc. He's riding a bronc, and over there is a bullfighting. Spanish. So this um, they like to they like to ride broncs too. So. Uh, I'm very not a fan of this guy. He scares the hell out of me. That's one ugly man right there. And uh, he declared war on our own country. And I'll just leave my commentary out of it to, to a point. But that's one of the ugliest men. So anyway. Here we go. Just people, people can be very, very mean. Okay. Um. I'm not sure what I'm getting out of this. 3200 for her. And I mean this is foreign to me. It's, and that's why we're here. But 3500 on this guy. Here my Odyssey. This one's break a leg. And this is nearly all. So she's a female guitarist here. Here my solo. Looking at my camera to see how they're they're mounted. They're 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 too large for this space. To, they're too high, and for get up to where the top of the picture, and I'll start washing out on the film. My happy dance. 
I like that one the best so far. At 3,300. Uh, yeah, this one has a, a, a neat feel to it. It's, it's like she's she's coming out of flames. Beautiful. $3,300. Happy swirl. Yeah, the coloration and everything. And then she has a harp. Very exotic. It's a soft serenade. Another very exotic one. Ethereal Strum. That's a cool name. 3300 again. And at 3000 on the end. Sakura Shaker. She looks like she's up to something on me. So anyway, back to the other side. Here my adventure at 3400. But yeah, that was quite a segue to go from this, this kind of stuff to a blank and I, I don't get it, but whatever. Anyway. Two in the morning. She's sweet. Uh, hear my gong. Yeah, and another musical instrument. It's, it's kind of neat. You can put, hang it in the music room. Beautiful colors. Pretty eyes. These big lady hands. So uh, here, life's evergreen. Uh, I, I don't remember seeing many paintings with like stories written and. Uh, uh, well done. It's pretty cool how they they put. Isn't that a neat style? Whatever's going on. And then over here we have these spiral eddies. Eternal loop. Now they had a Hendrix one. It's called B Wise at 3100. Tribute to Hendrix. Knowledge speaks, but wisdom listens. Uh, a violinist. Now, she looks like my sister. She looks familiar. No way. And then it has the story in there. Huh? And here's a signature. I'm not going to better research it because you can never read the signature. I mean, I, I don't know who the artist is on this. I guess I'll look it up on a computer. A 2500, that's the least expensive one I've seen. And she's cute. Very cute dancer. The spin, too. Very thin on them. And kind of a New Orleans. The Cajun chick. Sweet. Sweet Blast and uh, an Amazon chick. What's going on with her nose? It's funny, but yeah, uh, yeah, beautiful art display. Probably the best one I've ever seen here. Definitely very high caliber, but you know, pushing well north of a half man. But um, yeah, get on over here and. Um, do what I came here for at the John Glenn International. Like this big TV they have, it's a long ways over there. Thanks again.